Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Manu Josh Tech. So today I want to show you how to configure TP-Link China, China router. So I know that maybe you have encountered this type of router and you find that you find that the in interface is China. So this router, the one advantage that it has is that it is very very easy to configure it provided you you know just the steps so very simple it doesn't require any knowledge you just need to follow my tutorial then you go step by step until you reach to the last one then the another advantage of this router is that if you are not used to the ip that one is let's say 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.0 dot one this one you just need to type tp you just need to type tp dot dot it's tp tp login dot cn so it's one of the simplest router to configure please if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel so that whenever i have anything new you'll be the first one to grab So, for you to configure this router, the first step that you need to do is, number one, you have to, res you have to press the reset button. After injecting the, the, after injecting the adapter, it, it normally comes with, with uh, 5 volts, 0 0.6 adapter amps. Then, after you have injected the, the adapter into the power, then you, you, Put then then you connect it to power source. You press the reset button for five five minutes. Then after pressing the reset button, make sure that the patch code which is connected to your your computer is supposed to be connected to either port number one, two, three, or four. Then after you have configured it, you have you are supposed to connect port number the port that is written one with the cable which is given is, is being given to you by the supplier that one is the the cable that comes from from your isp okay. so after you have reset the the nini you have after you have reset the router you just need to plug in the power and since already i have another router just the same one but it's connected already it's connected to the power source at in my, in my base station so we are just going to use it as an example so you come to your computer and you check the wi-fi it's this tp so you connect to it so when you connect to it they have made this configuration to be extremely simple We'll just see the page for TP. TP lo login, it will just pop up. Let me enlarge it. It's a very nice page. Very, very simple. So, you don't need to know what... You don't need to know what this one is. But you can... If you have a translator you can just go direct to translator and see what's the meaning of that but because i'm used to this type of interface this one it is for the the login password so my login password and it should be a number like it should be greater than five so one two three four five six let's say seven eight nine zero then i put a after you have seen that it has shown you a green tick that shows that your password is okay then type again the password two nine, zero then a 
This one is next. So click on it. When you click on this, this one, this first, first, first letter, that, that first one, that first China word. If you click on it, this one is a PPOE. So it's asking you for your PPOE account. So most of the time, this PPOE account, it is with your provider. It's better if you, when the, when a provider cleared, maybe after installation, it's better if the provide, provider gives you net with PPOE. It's better if the provider gives you that account. So like with me, I have just a simple account. Mine, my provider gave me an account of capital N. Then, username N. I click next. Then, if we go go back like that, if you click here, it's going to give you an IP. That one is static. Static, static such that if a provider gives you internet with static IP, it's better if you can ask your provider or if a provider gives you, give, if you are having it, it's normally being given, it's a normal, it normally starts with 192.168 either dot z dot let's say 5.1 so let us do it practically so it is it's going to be 192.168 let's say maybe the provider had given a static ip of 67.1 then the second one is the the second one it is the it is the it, it is the DNS. So if you come, so let's say that, so th that one is a DNS. So it's so 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
So let me see. I come here. Manu Josh Tech. I connect. You'll see it's going to give me a, a login page. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six, capital A and small a. So I click next. So you are seeing already is connected. So if I click there, that one is telling me if I want to, if that one is, if I have an, I, an I account with them. So already I'm having internet. Then this router has some of, it is also given, it has also the, the Wi-Fi for the guest. So if you like, you can set the Wi-Fi for the guest like that. Then we just change the password. Two, three. So I can write Manu Josh guest. Manu Josh guest G. Then Manu Josh guest. Then I put the password. I just put the same password and I apply and I apply yes. Then it's asking me, do you want to save the changes? So if I go through the router, the interface for the for that router is just as simple as that. So if I check. That one is setting. This one is LAN. Yes, already it has obtained an IP because it is at a dynamic state. Then I can I can also change if I put it to to okay. If you look at this first IP which is having, you are seeing the IP which is assigned by my microtic or the server. It's end by thirty nine with thirty nine. So if I change this one, then I apply. You'll see it will obtain a different type of IP. So it's waiting. So you are seeing the other one was it was ending by 39, but this one is 102.16.0.124. So if I just say save as simple as that, then this router you can also find the LAN IP. The LAN IP for this router is 192.168.1.1. So if you are somebody who like using the, the the letters for this router it normally come with a st static ip of 192.168.1.1 and it's normally just a standard one so that one gives me the dhcp the advantage with this router is that the wi-fi coverage is very wide so it's one of the best router and i can recommend it for anybody to who for anybody or if you do, if you come across it don't take it as a as a jug it's a very good router because the performance is best so according to my experience it's very easy to configure and if you are not somebody who is not used to this 192 thing 192.168 so this router is very highly recommended for particularly for those people who are starting very very simple so nobody should confuse convince you that this router is bad this router is very good so it's very easy to configure, just very simple step. It's something that you can see. So otherwise, thank you very much for your time. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make, make sure that you subscribe so that whenever I'll be having a new video, you'll be the first one to watch. Only after you have clicked the notification bell down there. So have a good time.